Hey guys, we have an equation here in standard form and we want to change it to vertex form. Now I have another video where I already go over this in the corner if you want to check it out. This video is going to specifically talk about this conversion when we have a negative in front of the x squared. Let's do a really quick review of why we want to do this. So if I wanted to graph this, the x squared is making me think parabola. And the easiest way to graph a parabola is when our equation is in vertex form. It looks like this. So that's why we're trying to get there. So to get here, I want parentheses squared. And the way to get that is to complete the square. So to complete the square here, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to get the x's by themselves on one side of my equation. So I am going to add 10 to both sides. When I do that, I end up with y plus 10 over here and negative x squared minus 6x over here. Now this is the first place where it's a little different because of that negative. I don't want my x squared to be negative right now. So I am going to multiply both sides by a negative one. I just don't want to have to deal with it right now when I'm completing the square. So when I multiply that negative one in, I end up with negative y minus 10. And over here, I end up with x squared plus 6x. All right, now I'm feeling ready to complete the square. When I'm completing the square, I'm trying to figure out what number I add or subtract here to make this side factor to a parentheses squared. How do I figure out that number? Well, what I do is I take B, divide it by two and square it. Now, if you're like, lady, there are zero Bs on that paper. <laughs> you may already know this, but the B is referring to the number in front of the X. So in this case, B is six. So we're going to take six, divide it by two and square it. Six divided by two gives me three and three squared gives me nine. So I'm going to add nine to both sides of this equation. I can add whatever number I want to both sides, right? Or subtract or whatever. I'm trying to pick a number that will help me. And this B divided by two squared thing gave me a number that I believe will help me get to my end goal. So when I add that nine, I end up with negative Y minus one on this side and X squared plus six X plus nine on this side. Now I want to factor this side. Now, because I know this is completing the square, I know this is going to factor 2x plus 3 times x plus 3. If you didn't remember that and you wanted to factor the old-fashioned way, go for it. So now I can also write that as x plus 3 squared, which is what I wanted. But we can't forget this side over here. We're still equal to negative y minus 1. The next thing I'm going to do is now I want Y alone. When I'm in vertex form, my Y is all by itself. So first I'm going to add this one to both sides and I get negative Y equals X plus three squared plus one. And you might be tempted to say I'm done, but we don't want our Y to be negative. So I am going to, again, multiply both sides by a negative one. And I end up with a positive Y over here, which is what I wanted. And then this negative one is going to be distributed to both of these. And I'm going to have the negative out front, negative X plus three squared, because eventually that negative will need to get distributed in there, but not quite yet. And then the negative one times the positive one gives me negative one. And if I compare that to my vertex form, that is looking pretty good. All right, that is how you convert from standard form to vertex form if your x squared is negative. If you wanna see how to graph this guy, I will link a video for in the corner, thanks.